blog or use the Lean Launch Lab website or set up a WordPress and document your experimentation throughout the class. As a team, you can use Skype or Google. In the second assignment, we identified uh, five different ad attributes uh, that are common uh, in all the startups uh, that are diversified in the industry as well as geographical regions. And uh, this was done through compilation of uh, five, um, and these are the um, these are the reasons that students have pointed out. And what I have done is I've I have identified uh, and categorized them as um, um, pretty much close to what the business model canvas uh, looks for is innovation, delivery, uh, customer segmentation, which is sales, and uh, partnership. So the partnership would be blue, customer segmentation would be mainly sales, so green, innovation, which is value proposition, is uh, or purple, and the delivery is uh, on how um, it is presented, is in red. And uh, um, what is not there in the business can canvas model is uh, is an unknown variable which is always there. Um, and so, uh, since we had one of the member uh, point that out as one of the reasons, um, I kind of did that and. This is what I'm experimenting with currently, and uh, that's why I'm making this video to document that on how different perspectives can uh, uh, help us view the same thing. Some people might view it as uh, the company is successful because they have um, good distribution access. Uh, some people may view it as uh, you know, it's uh, innovation mainly, you know. Um, and others may view it that, uh, you know, the CEO or the founder is was experienced and visionary. So it's somewhere around there, you know, all these four views can be categorized. And whatever we don't know is kind of in the center, which is part of all four um, uh, reasons. When any startup starts, I think it's open to a lot of different options and a lot of different opportunities. So we always start with an unknown variable, but another way of looking at it is what I learned from my team members is um, it's also an unlimited potential. Um, you know, uh, well, even we don't know, so um, it is unlimited potential. But slowly, um, as we kind of uh, check the market uh, and reiterate, uh, we see, um, you know, the possibilities. And I think eventually we probably want to. Um, get it down to this uncertainty as as small as possible which is reducing the risk here professor uh, chuck Aisley describes on how there could be a market opportunity and how we can find an opportunity or recognize an opportunity uh, for the startup and uh, he says um, that once you have a product or service uh, you know you um, you know check the market and see where the gap is now that gap you should you need to identify as an opportunity and recognize it now that could be um, uh, you know, lead to maybe partnership with somebody who has that kind of skill sets. 
that you in your startup team lack uh, so that's a partnership opportunity uh, it could be something where uh, maybe you want to do an innovation uh, or it could be you want to partner with somebody uh, that can mm, you know buy your product as well so like a partnership for sales or a partnership for um, delivery um, and uh, so that's identifying the opportunity um, uh, that's the next step he says and a lot, a lot of companies go from the market first but what we have done is we have identified a product or service and uh, we feel there is an opportunity and um, you know we, we, we haven't got to what kind but if we are just going to get there currently we have a higher level view um, and so because we don't want to limit our possibilities um, about missing any avenue of recognizing a good opportunity that may be out there so currently with this high level possibility uh, we see um, you know we, we really can't see how much of any of the four attributes um, our startup has uh, that all the other uh, successful startup has but uh, our team which is represents the ring we all kind of kind of you know do the same task together so there's no role assignment currently and which is what normal in all the startups um, they kind of do things together uh, but once in a while we'll see an opportunity um, you know you know when we're doing this so we're trying to capture that this is another presentation uh, another representation uh, the the business model canvas uh, uh, that uh, a team leader has prepared and uh, and there you see the um, lot of possibility unlimited possibility and when we turn around we may sometimes catch a glimpse of uh, you, you know in, you know possibility of you know sales or but to do that we have to identify real markets uh, real world examples and those are lying underneath here somewhere that uh, we eventually will kind of uh, bring it out as uh, as as we continue with this assignment I hope we can work out um, uh, process issues and role issues uh, because we as a team uh, would like to uh, you know operate a you know in a more structured way um, uh, which is helpful um, and uh, so I'm here to learn and I'm grateful for the opportunity to uh, experiment and uh, find out more about um, how I can contribute to uh, technology and he healthcare industry uh, so uh, thank you for the opportunity and we look forward to our new mentor. Take care.